that most of you will share my opinion. Uh, this is one of the most important uh, issues in Europe now, and one of the one of the things which uh, divided Europe, unfortunately. So I'll, I'll uh, try to to uh, present you briefly the the system, the integration system uh, in Poland uh, on the example of Warsaw. Um, um, yeah. And so let's begin. So. Uh, First of all, in Poland, uh, we have special integration programs uh, for refugees. But uh, speaking about refugees, we, we consider people who, who got a positive decision, who are recognized uh, refugees uh, on the basis of uh, Geneva Convention, and also people with uh, subsidiary protection. So uh, it's another type of the. Uh, of the international protection for uh, for uh, first migrants, so only those two types of uh, people uh, have right to, to participate in integration programs. And uh, what can be a little bit shocking for you uh, in Poland, we don't have uh, too many refugees actually. Uh, from 2004 until 2015, we had less than 5,000 integration programs. So uh, I, I have to tell you that integration program is not an obligation for the ref for, for the refugee. So they can participate, but if they don't want to participate in this special program, it's not an obligation. So uh, the the number of refugees is way higher. But less than 5,000 uh, 5, people uh, in uh, more than 10 years participated in this, pro in this program. And what is very, um, very interesting, um, more than 60% of all integration programs uh, were realized in uh, Mazovia province and 33% in Warsaw. Warsaw is the biggest city, uh, around half of the uh, migrants live migrants who, who lives in Poland, lives in Warsaw. So uh, it's not a big number. In 2015 we had uh, a little bit more than two, uh, 12,000 applications for refugee uh, status. So it was like every every day in Lesbos uh, such an amount of people came and, uh, for the protection. So, so the scale is totally different than here in, here in Greece. What is also shocking, only uh, in 2015, only 4.5 percent of all applications were uh, people who applied uh, got a refugee status or subsidiary protection. Uh, but I, I would like to stress that a lot of uh, a lot of applications were cancelled because people left to Germany, to Sweden, and other Nordic countries. Uh, Let's go back to the integration program. Um, everyone who, who got a refugee status or subsidiary protection has right to, to apply for a refugee uh, for a for an integration program, uh, and they have 60 days to do this. So the first 60 days uh, since the day where uh, when they received the refugee status is crucial. Uh, integration program is uh, for 12 months. So. The, the whole idea is to, to help those people in the first period uh, in the first period in Poland uh, when they when they got a legal status when they uh, know that they can stay in Poland legally uh, live there and and start a new life there uh, yeah and um, the whole idea is integration program is part of the social system in, in Poland so uh, the whole idea is to recognize their uh, uh, their needs their problems and to uh, to build the, the program to build a contract uh, this way to, to help them as much as you can and to uh, to give them opportunities but also to to push them to start their own new life to, to uh, to try their best not to settle down and uh, wait for, for something uh, what can happen. 
So, uh, so the, the most important thing is helping, but also, uh, how to say it, uh, trying to, to push those people to, to try themselves. Uh, under the uh, integration program, we have a few, few types of help. Uh, one, and let's say that the most important is financial support. Uh, here we have the, the uh, amount of money which uh, they can uh, earn. One, zloty, uh, one euro is 4.4 zlotis. So you can see that maximum uh, amount of money which a person in single a uh, person household can get it's like uh, let's say 300 euros it's not too much it it's uh, let's say it's enough to to rent a flat uh, in warsaw uh, but that's all and it depends what kind of flat usually uh, the, the flat is cheaper in the um, uh, worse neighborhoods let's 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 call it like this uh, sometimes people uh, like one, one room in the city center costs around 800 slotties, so it will be like 200 euros. So uh, it's almost not possible to, to live from this uh, integration program. So we, we, can, we, we have to see it as a, as a help, not as a benefit which will cover uh, all expenses and all uh, necessary things for living. Also, um, it should cover Polish classes. Polish language classes. Fortunately, in, in Warsaw, uh, this is the, the, the one of the best uh, examples of cooperation uh, between the municipality and uh, volunteers or, or uh, organizations, NGOs, because uh, we have we have uh, a lot of uh, organizations which works with uh, which work with refugees and they provide free of charge Polish classes. So uh, that's very good. We are very happy about it, and we, we cooperate with with them uh, on an everyday basis, and uh, this is a good cooperation. Also, we can uh, ensure um, the refugees. Uh, yeah, the post classes is, is also very important, and uh, and we have a specialist uh, specialized assistance and social assistance. Very often people don't uh, don't see it as a real help, but uh, like I will say, I will say that most refugees after the integration program they will come and they will say yes the social assistance was more important for me than than money because I, I can I can try to, to find a job I can uh, organize money to, to survive but without your help without information. How to deal with some cases? How to uh, do some things in, in offices, in institutions? They will not survive. So th this help is is uh, very often unestimated, but but very important. Uh, yeah, and as as I as I told you uh, now, the, the um, social assistance is uh, we have uh, various types of of. Uh, this, this help, let's say. Um, basically, we give information, we assist if it's necessary, we, we try to translate uh, in, in hospitals, in clinics, etc., etc. Uh, we help uh, them with, uh, with uh, cooperation with kindergartens, with schools. So, we are like mentors, uh, like uh, advisors. A little bit, uh, it looks a little bit like cultural advisors and so on. Uh, also, refugees has, uh, have obligations. So, it's the, the, the whole idea of integration program is a contract. So, if they don't obey uh, rules, unfortunately, we have to, to stop supporting them. Uh, but it's also, from my perspective, it's very good because they, they know that they have to try. So, uh, they have to register at the district office. We have that, that system that everyone who, who lives in, in, uh, in Poland should be registered. Uh, they have to look for a job and uh, remind with contact with the job office. Uh, 
they have to uh, look for a job. I serve for a job. Yes. I say that they have to participate in the Polish classes if it's necessary. Uh, also, we have a lot of uh, refugees uh, from Belarus, from uh, Chechnya, so it's Russian Federation. Uh, it's a little bit uh, easier for them. Some of them speak Polish already, because if they uh, spoke Russian, uh, it's that they will learn faster. Some came to, to study in Poland, so they already speak Polish and it's not necessary to, to uh, push them to, to learn more. Uh, they have to contact with social worker two times, at least two times in a, in a month. It's very important because uh, thanks to that we have a, a permanent contact with them. Of course they, they can do it uh, more often if they, if they need. They can call us, they can come and uh, tell us about their uh, problems and ask us uh, for help. It's not a problem, but at least two times they have to contact with, with us so, so we, we know if they are still in, in Poland, still in Warsaw, if they need help or maybe they are already uh, self-sufficient. Uh, yeah, and uh, if they don't obey the rules, unfortunately, we have to uh, we have to cancel the that help. Uh, the system looks like this: if they uh, don't obey rules for the first time, we can stop support for 30 days. If it's still like this, if still they don't want to, to cooperate, we, we have to cancel uh, the program. Uh, the, the, the the whole program will be canceled. <coughs> on one side it's good because it's a big motivation, from other side we have uh, some doubts because uh, sometimes we would like to cut the, the, the support, let's say uh, pay them 50% of the amount of money just to show them, to, to show them that they, they have to integrate, that it's important to them but also to the society. So uh, it's it's a little bit problematic for us, even from the from the human uh, human perspective, because if we have a lonely mother with five kids, uh, it's believe me, it's really difficult to have support and uh, and punish children for for uh, what her mother did. So uh, so it's a little bit problematic. Housing support, it's a big. It's a big issue and a big problem uh, in Poland because uh, we don't have enough social flats. It's very difficult to get, even for Polish citizens, it's very, very difficult to, to get a Poland, to, to get a social flat to... I'm not talking about buying a, an apartment. It's really very, very expensive and I think that most people uh, will not be able to buy a uh, own apartment without credits and so on. But uh, in in, uh, in Warsaw we have a special uh, special system. <coughs> Every year we, we have a, we call it a contest. We can recommend five families or five people uh, to get a social flat, and uh, if we will uh, recommend them, uh, the whole rules, strict rules, which uh, which uh, guide the, the whole system, the whole uh, social flat systems. Don't uh, how to say it? Um, they, they don't have to, to fulfill all of those rules. So we uh, we we recommend them, and uh, they will get a social flat. Also, we have uh, nowadays we have two uh, training flats or protected flats. Uh, it's a um, uh, it's a flat which uh, which is only for for a period of time for six months and we can extend it if it's necessary. But uh, the whole idea of this flat is to, to put them people or families in a, in a really critical crisis crisis situation. So only mothers without any kind of uh, support from family or um, or uh, relatives, friends with no hope for, for job and so on and so on. Uh, we can provide uh, special, uh, special help for them, like psychological and uh, other types. So, so it's very important, very good. As, as I know, uh, in Poland there's another city, Lublin, uh, 
uh, where there is uh, in an act of a local law, uh, <coughs> they have a special uh, special sentence which uh, which provide uh, flats, social flats for refugees, and that's all. Only Warsaw and uh, Lublin, as for, for my information, has the uh, better system for refugees. Uh, also, we we had uh, we, we tried to to use EU funds to develop refugees. Uh, between 2008 and 2015, we had uh, a program named Integration for Independence, and more than 500 refugees participated in it. Uh, we had uh, uh, later I'll, I'll tell you what kind of support we had there. And uh, now we started a new uh, new program, well into Warsaw. And uh, we expect that it will be for 200 people. Uh, and uh, we can provide help uh, according to those uh, programs, not only for refugees in the integration program, but also after. after. So it's like an extension of, uh, of the integration program. And what, what do we have in those programs? As you can see, social work is the main thing. Unfortunately, we cannot provide money. Okay, I'll, I'll be fast. Uh, labor and housing assistance, uh, individual uh, consultation, like nurse, psychologist, etc., etc. Uh, so I'll not, I'll not uh, tell you more details about it. But I would like to stress that uh, we cooperate in those fields with NGOs, which provide that, that help, and also we, we cooperate with, uh, with volunteers. Uh, last year we had four volunteers working with us. Uh, we we, uh, we tried to, to start the cooperation with Warsaw University. Unfortunately, uh, the outcome was not so big as we expected. So, uh, so I have to say that the, the social system is one thing, cooperation with NGOs is it's crucial in this field, and volunteering is also very, very important, but uh, shock. It, it's a shock for me that uh, there is a lot of people who want to help in, in the field of refugee uh, crisis, but also if, if, we, if you, you will start the channel, not so many will, will come and really help so so that's the problem from my, my perspective. Hey, thank you very much. Sorry that it was so late. No and I just want to This year we had a big problem with this. 
uh, one of the one of the uh, competitions or, or uh, how do you call it? it was cancelled because of the, the change of the policy towards refugees. But I believe, from from my perspective, uh, I, I think that uh, the whole policy, the whole uh, the whole planning should be centralized and uh, provided by the state. Uh, but uh, the state or municipalities should divide the, 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 the fundings to, to NGOs also. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah the, it's it's uh, the, the flow of money. It's it's problematic, and also uh, and many NGOs complain about it. But also like like my my institution since it's a, it's a municipality, and uh, we like uh, I, I showed you to to programs uh, co-found from the European Union, also there is a problem with uh, money flow. So sometimes there are delays, sometimes uh, the, we, we don't really know what we can do, what we can't. Uh, so yeah, the whole policy should be centralized, but money should be uh, divided. And uh, also it should be, the program should be longer, not one, two years. Should be three, four years for to, to the, the, the perspective should be longer to, to stabilize the, the, the whole situation and, and situation of the NGOs. Thank you. Thank you.